60th anniversary of the European Economic Community. That is the very origin of the European Union. Where do you think European Union is going? We have previously discussed in our program about several scenarios. Mm. There are five scenarios, people say. Yes. Where do you think, Mr. Prime Minister, the EU is going? I think that uh, the spirit of Rome, the place of uh, the first treaty, is to come back to the ideal of Europe, which is uh, peace right now. A lot of uh, difficult points just around our border. And I think now for our future, we are to be back at the first idea of Europe, the first idea of Europe is peace. That's the reason why we have so close relationship between Europe and China, because the main point right now is to make all what we have to do for peace. Well, it's easier said than done, Mr. Prime Minister. You know this better than I do. And you have mm -hmm. a, a, people talk about uh, your theory even, which they call um, referinades, which means the road <laughs> is straight, means the goal is <laughs> over there, but the slope is steep. Mm -hmm. um, the most important thing is to figure out a way to get there. But it seems that the road is going so zigzagging these days, rather than straight. Yeah. Yes, it's okay. but I think we have something like a consensus in the world. Mm -hmm. And I should name this consensus the Tang consensus, mm -hmm. reforms and openness. Each country has to face reforms. It's not the same reforms in China, in Europe, in America, but we need mm -hmm. to change with the, uh, with the time and we need to make reforms and we, may, we need to make openness. But Mr. Prime Minister, may I remind you, you also have an election coming up mm -hmm. and it is no secret that Ms. Le Pen has been one of the most popular among all. I don't think she, she will win. I don't think so. What is making you saying so? Uh, I think that uh, uh, when we are talking about Europe, people don't want to live in France because they have seen that the pounds, the British currency, has lost 20 percent with the Brexit. And each people become more poor in this case. So I don't think that French people want to go uh, in the future without Europe. But they are also arguing with more immigrants coming in here, refugees, people are getting poorer. We need to work together with our common border. So we need Europe to limit immigration. So I think at the end of the day that uh, Mrs. Le Pen uh, don't win. But of course, election is election. Mm -hmm. And in right now, elections are not predictable. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the polls. <laughs> in the United States, in, in uh, Great Britain, everywhere, elections are not predictable. Where do you think, at this new era, the common ground for France and Germany at this point? Particularly, people are already having this impression that Germany is playing such an instrumental role within the EU. Is there still a place for France? Yes. Uh, the role of France is to be the first partner of Germany. Germany is the first partner of France. Both Germany and France has to work together for this uh, direction to go ahead. So Germany needs to have good relations with France. Mm -hmm. Germany uh, can be alone in Europe. It's more difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a good schedule right now because we have election in France and in Germany in the same yes. time. So we will have five years to work together and to have common strategy, common vision for common action. Mm. So I think with the Brexit, we are working more and more with Germany. Chancellor Merkel went to Washington and we all saw what the chemistry was like between her and President Trump. And she apparently didn't manage to bring much back home as a result of that trip. What does that say? United States stay our alliés. We are close with United States, but in this case, the future is uncertain. We don't know what exactly Mr. Trump wants about NATO, 
about uh, a lot of things. Mm. So when I talk about what uh, should be a friend, a predictable friend, I think that uh, our relationship between the United States must be more predictable. Mm. And right now, we have not a uh, uh, good sign enough. What is predictable to you? I would like to know what is uh, the strategy of the United States about protectionism. I think protectionism is a wrong way. Mm -hmm. And protectionism is very dangerous. And protectionism could be uh, 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 circumstances which is in favor of war. I think we need cooperation against protectionism. So I don't know exactly what we'll do, will be done by Mr. Trump. And uh, this question is very important for us, for Europe. We, have a, we are in favor of trade. Yeah. And we think we, we, if we make trade, trade, we don't make war. And you know, understand my feeling, my deep feeling right now. What is the most important today in the world? Mm. The most important is to make peace. The world is dangerous. Mm -hmm. North Korea, Iran, a, a lot. Of, I can give you a lot of examples. We need to make peace. We need to develop cooperation. We need to fight protectionism, right. nationalism, and populism. This year's conference is globalization and also uh, trade in the Asian perspective. You are a member of the board for the Boa Forum. When you decide on the theme, what do you have in mind? We have in mind that uh, globalization is a necessity, is necessary to the world. But we have to explain always. When we have problem in a country, the problem is not the globalization. The problem is the the uh, less of uh, reform in this country. Mm. You, you have, we have always, always in the world to adapt our economy, to change our uh, uh, thinking, because uh, we need innovation. Mm. We need always a new way of working. And we will have a lot of change in the future. So globalization is not the enemies. We have to adapt the globalization, but we have to adapt our organization to the globalization. So that's the reason why the key idea is reform, but not reform in sign lay, not reform without uh, looking at the foreigners. We have to make reforms and to have open mind. Mm. What do you think of the feasibility of Belt and Road Initiative? Some say it's very complicated because politics in countries are very different and also takes huge amount of cash to do infrastructure, as you may know, and the investment could be very long term. Thirdly, a lot of geopolitical issues going on among the countries along the Belt and Road Initiative. Fourthly, China as a rising power has been questioned constantly by some of the others as to what exactly their final purpose is in proposing this project. Fifthly, there are a lot of uncertainties in our world today that you could almost not even imagine, and yet it could come in front of us at any time. Mr. Prime Minister, is it feasible? Firstly, I repeat everywhere, don't be afraid with Obo. Mm. Don't be afraid about China. China is growing. It's a good news for all the world. We have to work together. Of course, one bail, one road is a good thing for China. Yes, but it's also a good thing for Central Asia. And it's a good thing for Europe. Mm. Because it's a world project. It's the only one world project. Since the Second World War, we have no world project. It's a world project. So. We have to think what we can do about infrastructure and about connectivity mm. in our uh, countries. In Europe, we have right now 45 projects which are inside the uh, One Belt, One World. Yes. We have to 
talk about concrete project, but also we have to talk about our future. And our future, I think, is Eurasia. Mm. For my, Eurasia. My, Eurasia. Mm -hmm. my vision is to see Europe just like a bird with two big wings. One wing is Eurasia, and the other wing is Euro Africa. I think Eurasia and Euro Africa <laughs> have to work together. And Europe is such a bird, mm. and we need to have this both vision. So I'm very glad to China to, pro to propose right now mm. a world project. Everybody can have his proposition. Yeah. In uh, Europe, we have to do that. So now we don't work enough in this project. So I shall take some initiatives with the new French government mm. in May to propose that we have a new project in order to participate mm. one by one world. But Mr. Prime Minister, where does the money come from? It's a lot of money. Yes, but... China is not going to sponsor them all. Yes, but China has the opportunity to begin. And we have in Europe a big plan with a lot of money. Mm. This plan is called Junker Plan. Mm. It's an investment plan. And I think that we have to organize a meeting with Mr. Juncker and uh, the <laughs> leaders of Obor to join the efforts of both parts. I think in Europe we have the capacity of investments for Obor. In Juncker plan we have these facilities. So I think it's not a question of money, of cash. It's a question of projects. Mm -hmm. Good projects find good money. Politics are short-term these days. Very short-term. Do you think politicians will have the vision as you do because you are away yeah. already from your chair yeah. in the yeah. office? So you can say these, but yeah. they, will they? They're facing the polls every day, looking at the numbers every morning. I think that politics has to change, but uh, I think that a uh, good friend, a leader, a Chinese leader, said to me some years ago, a good friend is a friend which is predictable. And we need in politics to be predictable. Mm. We can't be uncertain every day. We can't have vision if you are not predictable. You can't have friends who are not predictable. In a good vision of the future, we have strong partner, but partner who are predictable. Yeah. Mr. Prime Minister, I mean, people would say, wow, Mr. Prime Minister, you work with China many years ago already because you were one of the very few very supportive about the one China policy when you were in the office yes. against many of the other opinions at the time in France. And also you were not supportive of the so-called uh, uh, secession from Taiwan. And you were supportive of the anti-secession law rather in China years ago. So people look at your record and say, well, you've become a friend of China for a long time. So are you biased in your opinion? In my opinion, we have changed a lot of things between France and China mm. during this uh, 20 years past. What do you mean? Uh, I, I mean that we have more understanding between France and Europe. We are uh, more uh, close together. We need, in this very difficult period, we need to understand the whole civilization of China, mm -hmm. but also we need that Chinese knows well the European civilization. Mm -hmm. So we have cultural discussion, we have economic discussion, we have political discussion. Right now, we have made a lot of progress in our common vision of the world. Mm. When I see Mr. Xi Jinping in the United Nations to support multilateral dialogue, I think we are in the same boat. We are for multilateral organization. Mm. When he comes to Paris, he, he makes a speech to UNESCO. We need to support multilateral. Of course, we need to have good bilateral relationship. But we need to put everybody mm. around the table to make peace. There is no development, there is no job with the war. We need peace. And right now, I think that Europe 
and China mm. as the two parts of the world who are most supporting peace. And okay. that's the main point for me.